Hey YouTube, it's me, Fred. I just got back from GameStop with Michael and I got my World of Warcraft Cataclysm Collector's Edition. This bad boy is a beast of a box. I was a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. And to be honest, I'm very excited. Servers don't go live for another two hours, so I figured I'd do a video. Um, this will be my first one, so there's a lot more to come, hopefully. I plan on doing a crap load of stuff. Anyway. Anyways, to this. Um, it comes with the game, like an in-game pet, uh, behind-the-scenes DVD, collector's edition soundtrack and art of the game, mouse pad, a uh, deck of cards from the World of Warcraft trading game, and uh, StarCraft II avatar pictures, and uh, that looks like to be about it. Uh, you know, as you can see, it comes in a very nice, humongously beast of a box. Nice and shrink-wrapped, as usual. Um, I bought World of Warcraft, the box set for the battle chest, back when I started playing World of Warcraft about a year and a half ago. And uh, while we were at the uh, at the midnight launch, I also got uh, one of the posters. I've actually got like seven of them, so there's a crap of them. They're double-sided. Uh, same thing on both sides. It's pretty cool. But, uh, hey, you know, something to hang up in the bathroom or whatever, you know. Um, let's get this bad boy open. Let's take a look, see what we got here. Um, like I said, I'm really excited about this. I really cannot wait to actually play it, being able to fly in Outland and Northland. And since you can already do that, that's really not a big thing. But being able to fly in Azeroth would be really nice. It would have been a lot nicer when I was actually leveling a little bit. But hey, now my priest can fly around and work some butt. I'll uh, be sure to link my uh, my server information in the description bar down below or over there. I'm not really sure where it would be. Um, but hey, you know, hit us up. We're on Emerald Dream. We play a lot of, like, there's no tomorrow. Late night reading, doing kind of thing, y'all. Anyways, now that I've got it open, Oh, it smells like brand new stuff. That's what's so awesome about video games and everything else that's brand new in general. This thing is beautiful. Um, on top, we've got the Art of Wow book in its own plastic wrap, which I'll crack in a minute. Um, here's the mouse pad. It's actually a nice and durable mouse pad with a slick on top. That's pretty sweet. And then we got... Uh, soundtrack. It's pretty nice. It's got uh, basically music I haven't heard yet. Um, the deck of cards doesn't even come in a little box like they usually do. It's just cards wrapped in plastic. Kind of cheap on that, but hey, I probably won't be playing with one. Uh, here's the expansion set. Here's the actual game. Link on the back. Kind of thought there might be something cool on there or something. Uh, behind the scenes DVD with director's commentary, designer interviews, artist interviews and Warcraft retrospective against the, uh, the Shattering, as well as uh, Guest Pass for Recruit a Friend, uh, Guest Pass for StarCraft, another Recruit a Friend, and then StarCraft 2 again. And then the inside, which is empty. Man, does it smell good. I love the smell of stuff. Smells are my favorite scents, and just can't get enough of it. Um, let's get to the next part. We're going to take a look at that art book first. Huh? Got the art book here. Um, it's got a picture of Deathwing on the front. That dude right there basically takes a crap on uh, Azeroth, and uh, we just get to deal with it. So that's what really makes this expansion pretty fun. It's going to be nice and centered around him, kind of like uh, Wrath was around the Lich King. Henceforth, Wrath of the Witch King, which is Wrath of some guy we don't know, maybe. Oh, I bet you this one's going to smell good, too. Um, nice and pretty looking cover. Oh, I feel it's virgin book. It's got a lot of neat little concept drawings. I'm not really sure if you can see it. It might be just a tad too bright. But, uh... Um, you know, we saw a couple of these when we watched BlizzCon. Um, especially this one I remember seeing, and this one, I think. And 
And this is actually pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I'll get to see some more of this in actual, uh, in actual WoW. They actually have some information about Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor when they decided to do what Shatterings wear. While well, they have some of the concept art for the uh, opening cinematic over here, that's pretty cool. Um, the Zeppelins and uh, I mean, it's just out out of this world. This is amazing, you know. I really wish three o'clock would roll around a lot quicker. Here's my race. I think I'm really gonna enjoy playing myself a worgen. I'm actually a horde player. I play on uh, Emerald Dream on the horde, but uh, I think I'm going to actually enjoy playing a worgen on the alliance because that's gonna be fun. Except I'm not gonna do a druid because that's way too fishy. Um. Although the goblins would think they might be very interesting, our own little gnome rogues of our own. Anyways, um, there's a, there's just all kinds of stuff. I hear there's gonna be camping out. It's gonna be fun. But um, anyways, that's that. And you mix them up. Then now it's hits. Let's see. Then, CD. I guess that's really all that's really to see. Um, I'm going to give these babies a watch and a listen, and uh, I may play with the cards a little bit. Um, it doesn't really look like there'd be anything too awesome in there. I doubt they hit us up with some super rare cards that are worth a couple million dollars. I doubt it. But hey, um, that's Blizzard for you. Anyways, thanks for watching my video, and uh, have a wonderful time. Enjoy the cataclysm.